a question I'm going to answer in this video. Why do we join eXp Realty? For those of you that don't know me, I'm John Nash and my partner Joe Burris and I have been in the real estate business since 1996. I'm going to share our background and our path and what ultimately led us to join eXp Realty. When we bought our first house, we were not realtors yet. After we bought our home and we were settling in, we were those looky loos everyone knows. We were going to every open house in the neighborhood. We had just bought our first house and we were looking to buy furniture. We kept running into one particular agent at these open houses. She was really nice. We became friendly. She eventually talked us into getting our real estate licenses so we could become real estate investors. Well, we got our real estate licenses, signed up at a Century 21 franchise, and she became our, our mentor. One Sunday, she wasn't feeling well, and she asked Joe to do an open house for her. He ended up selling it and getting his first listing. Well, let me just tell you, Joe's business skyrocketed right to the top. By his second year, he was standing there at the awards ceremonies with all these 20-year veterans. And by his fourth or fifth year in business, he was number three in the state of New Jersey with Century 21. When Joe started getting awards, brokers started to take notice and Joe was starting to get offers from other companies to work for them. We had no idea that you could get more than a 50-50 split. Burdorf was offering Joe a two-week paid vacation, a coveted office, and a 70-30 split. A Remax franchise owner, Rob, would reach out to us and offer to open an office for Joe in Scotch Plains. And this conversation happened pretty much every six months to a year. Well, our broker got wind that we were thinking about leaving and offered to match what Bergdorf was offering and give us a huge private office. We all know change is scary. It's easier to stay where you are. We stayed for a few more years, but with the franchise fee and the 70-30 split, our broker was still making six figures off of us. We decided we wanted to keep more of our hard-earned commission and that it was time to open our own office. Even if it was just the two of us, we would still be ahead financially. In 2004, we opened our boutique real estate company, Sleepy Hall Realtors. We loved our office. It was our baby. It was so beautiful. Before we knew it, we grew, we grew to 25 or 30 agents. Production-wise, we soared to the number one office in Plainfield. It was great. Money was coming in. The office would be buzzing with chatter and laughter on a daily basis. We were driving nice cars. We took the agents to Tony Robbins. We sponsored community events. We would hold large parties, host our annual toy drive. Our office was a huge part of the community. We thought we were invincible. Brokers were knocking on our door wanting to make us offers for our company. But why would we want to sell it? Then 2008 happened. Real estate came to a standstill. We had to learn how to survive in this new real estate world and become short sale experts. But this wasn't enough. For the next several years, we had to dump money into the company. We returned our beautiful car, sold one of our houses, and got by for the next few years. Brokers stopped knocking on our door to buy our company. I think around 2015, business was starting to come back. Rob, the Remax franchise owner, was still calling Joe pretty much the same time every year. One night, we were sitting on the couch, and Joe said, wouldn't it be great if Rob called us? First of all, Joe didn't want to sell the company. I really did. It was his baby, so I was surprised. But that next morning, we got a call from Rob. Joe was like, give me your phone. Did you call or text Rob after our conversation? I hadn't. But we ended up sitting down with Rob, had that cup of coffee, and a few months of negotiations, we ended up selling our business and our lease to his Remax franchise. A year later, we found out he couldn't come to terms with the landlord on the lease renewal, so he's going to close the office and merge us all into one of his other offices. We're not happy to hear this. We decided we'd leave Remax and we started shopping around for a new home for our team of five agents. We met with all the top brokers in our area, Berkshire Hathaway, Caldwell Banker, Weikert, Keller Williams. At the end of the day, what they all were offering, our bottom line would have pretty much stayed the same. As I said earlier, we had been doing this since 1996, and at this point, we should not have to keep chasing our next deal for the rest of our careers. We knew there had to be a better way. Joe had heard about this cloud-based brokerage he wanted to check out. I'm the techie one, and I was a little skeptical, but at this point, we were pretty much working from home anyway. So we started doing our research and met Holly from eXp Realty and hit it off with her right away. We explained our past experiences and told her we really wanted to build a team. We had asked our previous broker to let us sit down with his top teams and he yesed us to death, but it would never materialize. And that's because brokers don't want agents to talk to each other about compensation because everyone is on a different agreement. Well, not at eXp. Holly set us up with one of the top team leads at eXp Realty out of California. I remember this was on a Thursday. We had a great conversation about the team structures that they had in place. The $16,000 cap on commission paid to the brokerage. We had no experience with having a cap. The 80 to 100% commission split, 
the passive income from revenue share, the stock awards, the mortgage services, the list goes on. It's all spelled out for everyone equally across the board. There's no secret agreements with the broker. All the information we were getting sounded too good to be true. At the end of the conversation, he said, what are you doing on Monday? We said the same thing we do every day, chase that next deal. He said, no, you're not. You're coming as my guest to a summit I'm hosting in Phoenix on Monday. Joe is not the spontaneous one. He looks at me and he says, let's go. So we jumped on an airplane on Sunday, stayed at this amazing resort, attended all the events that first day. We met the who's who of the company. We asked a million questions. We got to hear amazing heartfelt stories and how this compensation model has changed people's lives. It's helped them pay off their mortgages, create college funds, and spend more time with their families. You're also creating a legacy, a financial legacy for your family long after you're gone. We were blown away by the camaraderie, the culture, and the sense of family. Joe looked at me at the end of the first day and said, I think these people have it figured out. Let's stop drinking the Kool-Aid. It's time we drink this champagne. We were so excited about everything we learned. We signed up with our sponsor, Holly, at the end of that first day. Fast forward to today, this company has helped us find our passion again. It's really great that every agent has the same opportunity. The stock awards have motivated us to sell more. We actually achieved icon status, which is a $16,000 stock award in our second year with the company. The passive income from revenue share has lifted a weight off of our shoulders. What I really love is it's not a traditional corporate model where the agents get the breadcrumbs that are left over. We are up there at the top of the compensation ladder. We are so excited to be a part of the company that puts agents first. We can finally breathe. We are so amazed by the leadership of this company and excited to be part of its global growth. If you'd like to learn more about eXp Realty, feel free to give me a call, 908-565-0063. You can also check out our website, exprealtyletsgrow.com. I hope you enjoyed hearing our story. I really enjoy sharing it. If you have any questions, again, feel free to give me a call.